Hiya, I'm Riyadh. Welcome back to my channel. How you doing? Good? Good. So I was thinking for the last couple of days if I was going to make this video or not. It was in and out of my head. I thought, no, 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 I'll leave it. It's a bit divisive. People will have different opinions. And it just kept playing on my mind. And I thought, you know what? This channel is to spread a bit of opinion and how I'm feeling. So I'm just going to... Just going to... Let it all out. Over the past couple of months, but specifically yesterday, nude photos of celebrities have leaked and just the way that they're circulating and the stuff I'm seeing on social media and on different websites is kind of making me feel a little bit ill in my stomach. You can call them non-consensual images, you can call it revenge porn, celebrity nude photo leaks, whatever term you use, it's still the same thing. Someone's private or intimate images being shared to the masses and made from a private thing into a public thing. And don't get me wrong, when you find out that someone that you fancied for a long, long time, someone that you have lusted after, fantasized about, when you find out that there are naked images of that individual, it's very hard not to go look. And I guess the thing that got to me wasn't so much about people looking at the images, it's sharing the images and how the media are writing articles about this, sort of applauding, not the celebrity, but the person who has made those images public. Now let's get one thing clear. This is revenge porn. The word revenge in itself explains it all. Those images, those videos are shared in malice, in an act of hate to humiliate the person, to shame the person, to gain the perpetrator attention, give them a buzz, or to cause the victim utter distress. Revenge porn is revealing or sexually explicit images or videos of a person posted on the internet, typically by a former sexual partner, without the consent of the subject in order to cause them distress or embarrassment. Now when these images of a celebrity appear online and they're there, if you must, sure, go and have a look. Most other people are. But then don't take it to the next level. Don't share it on social media. When I went online and I saw people and journalists who should know better saying, Yes, thank the Lord, praise Jesus, these photos exist, the day has come, all my dreams are coming true, yes, yes, yes. That type of language is validating the malicious act, it's allowing it to continue, and it's normalising it to a point where victims are seen not as victims, but as people who should have known better. Now I don't know about you, but most of us have shared something with someone at some point, huh? You know what I mean? And who knows, maybe something of me will appear online one day and when it does, fuck it. It's not my fault. It's never the victim's fault. No matter how many pictures a person sends out to other people, it is never okay and acceptable then for those pictures to appear in a public place. And sometimes you can go, who cares, they're celebrities. This is the price they must pay for their fame and for their amazing lives. No, just because someone finds fame because they're really good at doing something doesn't mean that they're all of a sudden public property. No matter how much you want to, would you walk up to Zac Efron on the street, pull down his underwear and go, mm, mm-hmm, bit small, isn't it? Of course you wouldn't, you'd be arrested. But if a picture of him appears online and you begin to share it and you look at it and you comment on it, then I kind of fail to see the huge difference in the two actions. I've seen leaked images of people online before and the overwhelming sort of feeling that I get from them is a bit morbid. I know this person does not want me to be looking at them like this, yet I am looking at them. Where they were trying to be sexy, they were trying to be intimate, they were trying to be whatever they wanted to be with one person, one. I am not that person, you are not that person, none of us are, yet we're still looking. And a lot of the people who have had their images shared lately are fucking young, like in their early 20s. That is close to my young brother. I cannot imagine someone doing that to my little brother and the fear and anxiety and sorrow that he'd be going through because of it. Saying that someone should know better is like saying, don't eat those prawns, you'll probably have diarrhea. Don't go into the kitchen, because you might get cut by a knife. If you own a candle, it's your own fault if your house burns down. Sorry, victim shaming is never cool. Instead of applauding the actions of the culprit, the person who shared the images, they should be vilified and they should be held accountable. Thankfully here in the UK, a law was introduced that says if you share someone's intimate private images in a malicious way, you can go to jail for two years and you get fined. Sorry about you. In the US there are different laws for each state that can be easily found online. But thankfully now, along with social media sites and, and different web servers, it's being clamped down on. Time after time after time, victims of revenge porn, be them celebrities or not celebrities, it doesn't matter. It's the same feelings of shame, humiliation, fear, guilt that 
overwhelm them. And in some situations it gets so bad that the victim cannot take the pain anymore and they take their own life. Like a woman called Tiziana Catone, 30 years old, in Italy, September 2016, her ex-boyfriend shared videos of her online, she took her own life. Or Tyler Clementi in New Jersey in the United States, September 2010, he was filmed in an intimate act with another person in his bedroom and then it was shared all over social media, he then jumped off a bridge. These images and videos can destroy a person's mental health in the blink of an eye. And yeah, there is the argument that it can make someone more famous or it can lead to compliments about the person's body. The person does not want to be commented on good or bad. And you know the nature of the internet. All you have to do is look in the comment section of any of my videos. Generally, there's a lot of shit out there. Looking at the comments on the photo leak that happened yesterday of that poor young man, it was a lot about the shape and size of his manhood. The fact that he hasn't got the right amount of hair on his body and he's not a real man that some people expected him to be hotter than he was imagine for one second being that person reading those comments about parts of yourself that no one should see apart from a partner or yourself and i understand websites news outlets if something like this happens it's almost impossible for you not to write about it and, and share the news if you share the news that leaks have happened that's fine don't share a link to the nudes uh, you're fueling the fire. You're helping the problem. You're applauding the culprit. And even if you don't share the link, the language you use in your article about these leaks is so important. Yesterday, reading an article about this poor person's unfortunate leak and hearing that they're delighted it happened. Thank God. About time. Not cool. If you're going to use the excuse of something being newsworthy and you having to write about it, then at least make it written in a newsworthy way. Give the facts, not the banter, and not the link. Simple. Anyway, just thought I'd get that off my chest. <laughs> and if you don't agree with me, then that's totally fine. This is the joy of the internet and of free speech. My opinion and your opinion are both valid and they may be completely opposing. But what I say to you is, if something like this appears online, which of course it will again, it could be your image, it could be your brother's image, it could be my image, it could be your parents' image for all we know. Just think twice before you share. Think twice before you write an article and think twice about that person, that victim's mental health and how it might affect them in the long term. That's it, simple, huh? It's easy. If you're watching this and you've been a victim of revenge porn, um, I've got a couple of links down below of different organizations that can help you, um, legal organizations that can help you get those images down through copyright law and privacy law in various different countries. Um, so please check them out if you need to. Make sure you hit subscribe, like this video, and I will chat to you in a couple of days. All right, love you, bye.